Some bonds, however, pay variable interest that depends on a current market rate of interest. Such bonds are called floating rate notes, or floaters. Floating rate notes tend to be structured such that there is a specific market rate of interest, also known as the reference rate. For example, we specify this bond to have the six-month LIBOR as the reference. An interest margin is usually added to compensate the lender for the credit risk that the lender undertakes. Added margin is typically expressed in basis points, which are hundredths of 1%. A 150 basis point margin is equivalent to 1.5%. So for this case, if the six-month LIBOR rate is 3.0% today, the coupon rate to be applied six months from now will be 4.5%. Remember that this is the annual rate, so we have to divide the amount by 2. So six months later, a coupon of $22.50 is paid. Now let's say the six-month LIBOR drops to 2.0%. Are you able to calculate the coupon payment at the one-year mark? Pause the video now and work out your answer. And we're back. Adding the interest margin of 1.5%, the coupon rate to be applied is 3.5%. Dividing by 2 and multiplying by the principal of $1,000, the coupon payment at the one-year mark should be $17.50. So you get the idea. The coupon payment is based on the LIBOR rate at the beginning of each period. On the maturity date, a balloon payment of the final coupon plus the principal amount of $1,000 is paid. A floating rate note may have a cap, which benefits the issuer by placing a limit on how high the coupon rate can rise. If the coupon rate rises higher than this cap, the cap rate is applied instead. Often, floating rate notes with caps also have a floor, which benefits the bondholder by placing a minimum on the coupon rate. Regardless of how low the reference rate falls, the floor rate is applied to protect the bondholder. In essence, floating rate notes have coupon payments that correlate with the reference rate. However, that does not always have to be the case. An inverse floater has negative correlation with the reference rate. The coupon rate increases when the reference rate decreases, and decreases when the reference rate increases. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.